All right, guys, we've got our camera here. This is the solar battery wireless security camera. We're gonna mount it on the front of our garage here. Yeah, a lot of you who know me well know that I do a lot of security videos. Uh, this company, they sent me a uh, solar battery wireless security camera to do a review on. And it looks like a really neat setup. You don't have to really use any batteries because it's solar powered and it'll rotate around. It has a 355 degree pan and a 90 degree tilt. It's forever power solar and it's wireless hassle free. So we're gonna take a quick look at this and uh, just see what's involved. Yeah, the box shows what's uh, in it. It's a solar battery wireless ca camera. Uh, through the power supply of the type C charging cable, there would be two charging options by the solar power or the use of a DC five volts, one amp power adapter, the charger, which is not included, but most people have those. But what's included in it is the camera, the solar uh, panel, the uh, screw pack, a sticker, a warning sticker, a user manual, and a type C charging cable. So we're gonna open this up, take a look at it and just check it out. The features a smart home surveillance camera, uh, remote access via free app, a playback or record video by micro SD card, enhanced HD night vision, an intelligent motion detection, and a clear two-way audio. So now let's open up the box and check it out. See what the, what's inside it here. Okay, it starts out 24 hour surveillance. So these are cool. I mean, I have a lot of different cameras and uh, these are really awesome, but uh, the, for, this will actually be the first solar one I have. Here's the manual for it. Comes with a complete manual. And then as we open it up, the first thing we come up with, let's just uh, see if we can take this out of the package. This is the solar panel. This is what will power it by the sun. I have a whole solar system set up here in my home and there's nothing better than solar. You get all this, uh, uh, power for nothing. You just drink out the, the energy from the sun. As we go ahead and continue to look at the rest of the things inside the box, here's the actual camera itself. Let's get this up out of the box. Has a couple antennas. And you can see how it'll rotate around. And the mounting brackets has a couple antennas on top. And then on down here, sometimes a little hard to get some of the mounting hardware. Looks like this is a part that will actually screw to whatever surface you're putting it on. Another bracket. There's a couple stickers here. Oh, that's a mounting sticker. So if you want a, a template where you're mounting it to the wall, this is your template. It's got a uh, USB, uh, it's the C cable. So this is how you can hook it up to the thing. The, uh, and then there's a couple mounting things. There's some uh, mollies and screws in there. And there's one more thing, or oh, more different mollies, depending on what uh, type of surface you're hooking it into that has these different uh, molly. But that's pretty much, that's everything in the box. I just noticed on the bottom of this, see this does have a uh, built-in battery. So, you know, you do need a battery to, uh, the way solar works, solar is basically a battery charger. There's the solar and here's the battery. So you, it continues to keep the battery charged up. So you do need an initial battery and it comes with one. There's one right inside the, the unit. So there's everything that comes in the box, neatly packed. I have the, uh, this is actually setting upside down there, the way we got it set in here. But that's all, you know, you've got your solar, your main unit, you got your mounting brackets and your cables and your mounting screws. So it comes complete, everything you need to set it up and get it working. Let's uh, work on setting her up. All right, guys, we've got our camera here. This is the solar battery wireless security camera. We're gonna mount it on the front of our garage here. Now I was reading instructions and they say to mount it between seven and 10 feet high off the ground. So I got my tape measure here. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and measure 
and see uh, how far that is where the wood starts at the bottom. So right there's the wood. And we're at looks like eight, nine feet, seven to ten feet. So that's going to be just right. So what we're going to do, we're going to mount kind of right here in the center and start out. We'll mount our brackets and our solar panel and we'll go from there. All right, here's our two brackets. One of these, I believe this one, is for the solar panel. And this one here is for the camera itself. I need to see what direction. I, look, I think this mounts up. I gotta go take a look at that. Yeah, this mounts with this up. So this is where the camera is and then the solar panel. So let's center our ladder just a little bit. This shouldn't be too hard to do, really. So I, what I believe, we're gonna be mounting this right about here. Actually, I don't wanna cover my house number. So I'm gonna go more over here on this side. So I'll move the ladder over just a little bit. And so we're gonna mount it on this side over here. All right, so we've got our screws here, and several different screws. I'm gonna start out here with this little white one. There's three screws in it. Open that up and get them in my hand. We're not gonna really need the mollies, but they do give you mollies here in case you have to uh, mount it into a saucer, like drywall or something like that. And so that'll hold it in place. So let's center this one up and see where we're gonna go. This is going to be real easy to mount. There's that one. Now let's put it in place and see what it looks like before we mount the uh, solar panel itself. Up here on the top is where our USB cord goes. Okay, it looks like, see, this looks like it's hanging upside down, and that's exactly the way it is. So, and then you can get your, to your cord in the bottom. Now, I wonder if there's a clip here that holds that. So that's basically how it lays. The uh, antennas will go up in the air. So that's basically where it lays like that. And then the next thing we got to do is mount our solar panel. I think I'm going to mount it like right up here. Now to mount this on here, see this will just screw in here like so. I'll tilt it up a little bit. Now, our sun, this is the southern right behind you. 
or right behind me. So that's the southern direction. So we have other solars set up and if we kind of do it, the sun comes over like this. So in this direction, it should get the most sunlight. So this should be good mounting. We got to figure out where we need to plug this in here and we need to mount this up permanently. So we're on our way, guys. We got to look at the uh, manual a minute there and make sure we, we've got everything mounted properly. We'll lay the camera down. So let's just take a look and see that we got this right. I always double check. I get everything going and then check to see what I need where. Reset button. Type C port. So basically it's pretty simple the way it sets up. So let's go ahead and finish this up. I will need to go pick up a SD card and put in it just to make sure that uh, we have some power to it. All right, this will hold up to 256 megabyte SD card. I happen to have a powerful uh, 64 gigabyte, so that's what we're gonna use right now. Right here at the bottom, hit that back where you can see it. You, you can see a place and you can just slide your SD card in there to make sure you get those in the right direction. There it is, SD card in place, make sure it clicks in. Close this back down. There on the bottom here, if you open it this, this shows where the power cord goes for the uh, USB-C power cord. I got it here in my pocket here. There it is, I knew I had it. So let's just take the uh, Twist tie off of that. And then we can plug this in right to there. You see it neatly fits there. This door, I'm taking it will just hang open because it has to be open to do hold that. And then this end will be plugging into the solar panel. And so once we get those two hooked up, and get this slid in place, we'll be all set and ready to go. Let's go back up there again and see what we can do. All right, this cord here, I made a mistake, I told you earlier, we'll take this back out. This is a different cord. This cord here, plugs into the bottom so let me undo the cable wrap here now the this has a c you know usb c on the bottom this plugs in here to the power area there it is and then that now the solar should be actually powering the battery charging the battery what it does actually again the solar isn't much the power is the it charges the battery in the unit solar is basically a, a battery charger this should slide in here get it where it goes just right now it should clip in place let's see if we can push that on in place there it goes so basically it's all set up now the only thing we need to do i brought myself some zip ties out is to neaten up this cord now you see you could put this solar quite a ways different if i need to change it I can move that solar to a different spot because there's a lot of cable there. That's really, really handy. It's so great they, they give you all that extra cable. Now let's see if we can tidy this up just a little bit. But there we go, guys. We have the insulation all in place. It'll be charging the battery in the, the camera now. The next thing we got to do is configure it. We've got to get the software on the phone app and get it all configured in place. Okay, to register an account, the Cloud Edge app that is necessary to operate the camera, signing up for storage in the cloud is totally optional and is not really necessary when using the onboard micro SD card. One, open up the app to sign up an account. Go to the login interface and click sign up. Number two, sign up with your email address and then click next. 
Three, click up the sign up nickname and password on your account app and click done. Log in to Cloud Edge. Then tap the plus icon in the center. Tap the battery camera to add device. Three, reset the device and wait for the flashing red indicator light, then tap next. Four, selecting the Wi-Fi the device needs to connect with your home Wi-Fi output, then the password, and then next. Five, use the camera to scan the QR code on your mobile phone as noted below. When the scan is complete, you will hear a prompt tone, then push next. Six, after the network configuration is successful, set the name and the password for the device to add successfully. Then you can view the camera in real time screen. This is the app called Cloud Edge. This is what we use for the wireless camera to uh, navigate it and record and, and do things. I'm gonna reset this one up on Sue's phone and then she'll be a partner one. It won't be the same one. So we're gonna try to get that all set up, see what we come up with. So it's installing it right now. And then it says hit open. All right, here's the beginning screen when you open up your app. I have mine named Solar Camera. And so if I just click on the Solar Camera, and you'll see the screen coming up. And we've got some fog right now. So you see all that there. But you know, actually that fog can be eliminated if I turn the light on down at the bottom. And you see how it disappeared? That lit up the area out there so I get a much better picture. So uh, several situations you'll run into if you do different things like this, it'll control like the lighting. It looks good now, turn it back off and the fog comes back on. Now, even though this has a uh, 360 pan tilt and control, it doesn't do it automatically. You have to use your finger on your smartphone to move it around. And all you gotta do is slide it across or up and down and it'll take you right where you wanna go. Okay, you can use an SD card to record your things on. It's a 128 megabytes micro SD card. Now it's not included with it, but you can add one of those very easily. It has cloud storage. If you'd like to use the cloud to uh, store all your videos on, you can do that too. So it's very good. It's 100% wireless. There's no wires needed, totally solar powered, and it's IP66 waterproof. So it has dual antennas. So, and Rebellum will support you in all your needs. Now we've finished the installation to our uh, camera here this is a solar camera and I was experimenting with the uh, talk on so I think Susan she's moving the camera now if you just saw that or not Sue can you hear me all right in there I don't know if she hears I me can't hear you. oh there she is she can talk to me there so uh, what have you been up to today uh, we went on a scooter ride earlier today Oh, that's right, riding one of the e-bikes. That's pretty cool. So how do I sound inside there? Can you hear me good? Very, very well. How do I sound? Oh, you sound wonderful. You sound very wonderful. So she can actually, if I walk across the way here, she can follow me. And if you keep an eye, the sun's probably going to get me right here. And she can, can you see it moving? She's following me. She knows I'm over here. She, she can see me over there and as we walk she can follow me again I'm gonna uh, I've got a Sun coming at me so I don't know if that's gonna give it you can see it following me now she's doing that with her finger she's making it move back and forth and uh, so you can always see what's going on around your neighborhood and you can talk to them right Sue And she can follow me. Let's walk a little further out. I'm sure I, she won't hear me as for as far as distance. Now she's trying to get it back to, on my face there. See, I, it's like a pinball donkey. She has to follow and say, "Where's Where's Bob at now?" Now, can you see me good now? Here we go. I can see you. Okay. You hear me good. So that's pretty cool. 
Well, we didn't try before, but I'm gonna have her go ahead and hit the record button. I don't know if it'll work at the same time you're talking or not, but I'm gonna have her hit the record button and maybe we can share that video along with it. So we'll see how that goes on it. All right, Sue, thanks for the help here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Okay, I hope everybody enjoyed our, our review and that of the camera. It's, this thing's really great. I love the way it walks. It, it will hold like 256 megs to a card. You can buy a cloud device if you want. You don't have to. Uh, I just zoomed in. She just zoomed in on me. So, and see what will probably happen. I don't think the zoom records when you're inside there. So it doesn't, the recording doesn't copy the zooming function of it so but i hope you guys enjoyed that if you guys did hey give us a thumbs up now i'm going to leave a link to amazon down below where you can purchase one of these i tell you what i really bye. have enjoyed bye, it everybody. bye everybody see so say, saying goodbye so hey guys if you enjoyed this video hit us the like the subscribe hey we're an amazon affiliate we have a link in every video if you check on that link uh and just click on it It'll take you to your Amazon and buy what you want, and this will help us out. We'll get just a little commission out of that. Cost you nothing, absolutely zero. All you gotta do is click on the link. If you're not a subscriber, I invite you to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share it with your friends, and hey, if you need a camera, I would highly recommend this. This is a wireless camera. It uses solar to power it. You really never have to charge it. So uh, it's a really cool. I'm, I'm really impressed with it. Guys, thanks a lot. Hope you check us out. See you the next time.